All right, so recently I made a video for this cable tester and it was kind of cool. It was a basic board, this little plastic coating on it, ran off a battery or whatever the power pins this is. <laughs> I don't know. But it was um, one of those things where you have to look up a lot of stuff and the little lights came on. If you want to see that video, it's still out there. But the maker, Treedix, uh, liked this video so much that I paid full price for this guy. Um, they said, would you like to check out our new version of the cable tester? And I said, hell yeah, that looks a lot better than what I was using before. So they sent it over free of charge, no expectation. This is my own review. So they sent this over and let's take a look at this thing. Now, this is about 46 bucks. This is about 17 bucks. And it's obvious when you start putting on a screen and a case and things like that, it's gonna go up in price. But let's take a closer look at this if we can. So it's got a full color screen on here. We're gonna look at that in a minute. Here is one side, which has USB-C and USB-A. So those are your outs. Your ins are numerous here. We've got C, we've got A, we've got micro, mini, you name it. We can pretty much plug anything into here. And you can actually power it from USB-C, which is really cool. Power switch and then a function change. And I'll show you that in just a minute. So when you turn this guy on, it's got a short boot process and you have a basic functions, a USB cable checker, resistance test, and something about an e-marker. I have no idea what that is. But let's take a look at what this does for something with a basic functionality. I'm gonna make sure the light's not on there. So let's take a look at something like this. This is a an A to C. This seems like kind of a nice cord. Obviously it's not blue inside, so we can't expect a lot. But the idea here is you've got all these cables laying around. Let's find out what does what. So in this case, we do get basic data transmission along with USB 2.0 data transmission as well as basic power. No PD power, but basic power. So this would be great for like a, a DAP or something like that where you're doing basic power and basic data transfer. So that's kind of cool. Let's see what else we got here. Here's another cable. Similar configuration, we'll plug that in. Wow, <laughs> this literally does nothing more than send some power. That's it, no data. Uh, this is, so this would be like something I would probably throw away, right? And we got another cable here, another one of these ones. And again, these, they never have any markings on them. You don't know what's what they're gonna do. Now look at this guy, now this surprised me. This is a great data transmission cable, 3.2 USB, basic power, but just enough power to power some sort of an external device, but give you fast as hell transfer speeds. So this is a really neat little cable. And by looking at it, you never would have known. All right, let's just do a couple more here. I think you guys get the idea. Um, so let's put this guy in. Now this guy has a, an NI, um, logo on it, so I expect good power transmission, and I do, I get uh, 3.0 PD power delivery, but I also get 2.0 data transmission. So this is a this is a decent little cable. This would be great for charging a battery or charging your phone, right? Now this guy, this guy's, no, 60 watts, 10 gigabits. So you're thinking, oh yeah, this is, this is gonna take us to the moon right here. Actually, no, <laughs> actually it doesn't. Great, uh, great transmission, but we're not PD 3.0 on this guy. So that's, eh, well, listen, you know, this cable I thought would be better than it was. This is something kind of cool too. So if you take one of these guys, I can't remember the designation of this. Somebody will leave a comment about it. You can even test this. Now we ha expect there to be power and data, right? But what, what are we looking at here? So we have data up to USB 3.2. That's awesome. And then basic power, enough to power this but uh, not much more. But that fast data transmission is what makes this cable the perfect fit to uh, this device right here. So that's cool. Um, so this is another one. This is another INI or however you pronounce that. This one says 240 watts fast charging. So you expect this to be doing some serious van damage, right? And you'd be right, from a power point of view, this guy, it rocks the CASPA, right? PD 3.1, as well as USB 2.0. This is a pretty damn nice little cable. And now, of course, I saved the best for last. This little guy doesn't say much, 
you can't really tell. It does say USB 3.1, it looks like, but there's no other markers on here. So what is this cable actually capable of? Let's take a look. Look at that, 3.0 PD, as well as USB 3.2 data transmission. This is the kind of guy you wanna plug into a monitor, do USB-C, uh, Alt-DP, that sort of thing. So this is like one of the best cables I could lay my hands on. Forgive my dog's barking, it wouldn't be a video without it. So let's take a look at what some of these other items do. So if you change to type C, it gives you a whole big breakdown. This is sort of like what we saw here, right? That should look familiar. If you wanna see very specifics, most people probably don't care. Uh, resistance test, right? How much resistance is going through here? I don't even, re re I don't even pretend to understand. Is this ground short? Is that bad? I don't know. Finally, we have a marker. So it says this is a passive cable 3.2. A lot of times you don't get this, this USB-C E marker, you don't get that. If I were to plug in one of these other cables, I don't think this one had it. Oh, maybe it did have it for this cable. Yeah, but a lot of these, it didn't show anything, right? It didn't show jack squat. Let's put this back in. Oh, I guess it did. Well, how about that? Anyway, so you have that, and then I think that was the last back to basic functions. So it's it's a little pricey, but it's, it looks great. It's solid. The only complaint I have, the only complaint I have, and, I, and I'm sure over time it will loosen up a little bit, this USB-A uh, port is a little, it's a little tight. I mean, you want it tight, but I had a lot of trouble when I first got it, um, sticking this, getting this guy to even plug in, but it's a lot better now. Now, one other thing I wanna show you before we get out of here, I did mention you power this with USB-C. So how's it getting power now? Now, that's the cool part. It actually uses a AAA battery. That's so much better than this coin battery. I've got AAA batteries falling out of my butt. Uh, honestly, I'm probably sitting on one right now. So it's nice to have that, an on-off switch, right? Uh, it's, it's a nice little device. It actually uses screws to keep it together. Uh, another one of those things that you don't always see. So this was great. Um, you either need it or you don't need it, right? You could probably get by with this if all you wanna do is test a batch of cables, but I'm really pleased that I got my hands on one and eventually had I even seen it, that there was a 2.0 version, I probably would have picked it up and paid for it because I find there to be great value in being able to um, to figure out <laughs> to figure out what the stack and boxes of cables I have over, oh, you can't see, I mean, you see a little bit of it. So anyway, hey, listen, if you like these sort of videos, like, subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment down below. Do you have one of these? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Uh, have you cleaned up your cable collection as I obviously have not? <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I'm Shane Armand Rowe. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. Uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.